three, two, one, let's go! Hello, my beautiful channel family. Today is June the 20th, and this is your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam News Channel back with a video. Family, I love you guys and keep them eyes on the sky because our redemption draweth nigh. I pray all you guys are doing well today, and if it's your first time to our channel, let me say welcome to the channel. Guys, I'm truly honored you join us today, and it's not by chance you're here. And you may be asking yourself, what is the Watchman Adam News Channel? Well, we are an end time news channel that knows we're living in the biblical last days, and we're watching for the soon return of our Messiah, Jesus. Because we know that trumpet's about to blow, and we're going to be ready to go on this channel. This is the time of the end. This we know, for our Bible tells us so. Family, that trumpet is about to blow, and when it does, you already know. Let's go! Okay, guys, let's look at the verse of the day, and I actually have a few verses today. They're very relevant to today's video. You may hear some thunder and lightning in the background. We're in the middle of a really bad thunderstorm, and family, you ought to see Chloe the watchdog. She does not like thunderstorms at all. Okay, the first verse is Luke 21, 25. And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, the stress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and waves roaring. Okay, the next verse is Joel 2, 30 and 31. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. Okay, and the last one is Revelation 8, 11. This is the wormwood prophecy that will happen during the tribulation. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. Okay, family, I think the Bible makes it very clear that in the final moments at the end of days, we're going to see signs and wonders in the heavens. It's almost like the stars, sun, and moon are paving the way for the return of Jesus. Let's look at this end time headline from Israel 365 News. Meteor explosion over northern Israel has people looking to the heavens. Okay, so a meteor exploded over northern Israel in an event that was heard all over the country on Saturday afternoon around 5.16 p.m. Wow, family, we got meteors flying over Israel. Now, the IAA described it as a bolide, which means it was a really bright meteor. Now, the light is caused by ionized atmosphere heated up by the meteor's impact. And family, thousands of people reported seeing this meteor streak across the sky, and they heard a loud explosion. Now, an asteroid expert out of Israel told the Jerusalem Post that the meteor was likely one meter in diameter based on his own observations of images and video taken. Now, family, this next part is very interesting. This meteor expert out of Israel actually quoted the Talmud, stating that the Talmud says that a comet would be a harbinger of the end of days. And the Talmud verse he quoted was this one. The paths of the sky are as clear to me as the paths of my city, Naranda, except for comets that I do not know what they are. And then the expert said this. This was very interesting. It made me think about Wormwood. And I quote, We learn through tradition that a comet does not pass the Orion constellation, and if it does not pass Orion, the world would be destroyed. And then the Israeli expert on meteors said this. Now this is very interesting as well. He says an apocalyptic meter is one of the pre-Messiah signs described in Jewish sources, stating that the Zohar describes the appearance of many unusual stars. And then he quotes Numbers 24, 17, saying that a star or a meteor will be what brings in the Jewish Messiah. But family, there's a catch to that. One thing they're failing to realize is this, that Messiah's already come. Messiah come nearly 2,000 years ago. The person they're waiting on, I promise you, will not be the Messiah. Messiah is coming. But this time, he's coming to take his church. And then seven years later, he's coming back to set up his kingdom here on earth for a thousand years. But guys, I do believe that the Wormwood prophecy in Revelation is talking about a meteor that one day will strike the earth. And it's not going to be good. It's not something that you want to be here for. I mean, it says it's going to turn a third of the waters into Wormwood bitter. That's not good, guys. You know, you need water to survive. 
But with everything else going on in Israel, I'm telling you, Israel's being prepared for the time of Jacob's trouble. Like I already say, this meteor, man, it comes at a very interesting time. And if you followed our end time news update for some time now, you know one of the headlines we often report is meteors that streak across the sky. Family, this is almost like an everyday thing now. Family, I thought this was very interesting. I just wanted to get on here real quick and report it to you guys. It's something I thought you might want to know. Family, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. I got to be at the rehab at 7. I'm speaking to the men in the program tonight. So please keep me in your prayers. And I just got off work. Got a few things I got to do before I head out to the meeting tonight. Family, I love you. And remember this. You are a child of the Most High God. You have nothing to fear. Our Messiah is coming soon. Don't let anyone else tell you elsewise. The enemy's trying to get in people's heads here in the final moments at the end of days. But we know for sure, family, on this channel, that our blessed hope is coming soon. Family, keep them eyes on the sky, because our redemption draweth nigh, because that trumpet is about to blow. And family, when it does, you already know. Let's go, Harpazzo! To next time, Brother Watch Renato signing out. Keep on looking up, family. Let's go.